just a reminder to make sure to go follow me over on Instagram. It is Jeffrey underscore James underscore reviews. Follow me over there to see updates and talk pro wrestling. What's going on, boys? Today we are going to be reviewing the Elite Series 104 Solo Sokoa. My girlfriend actually found me this at a local Walmart today. Super stoked that uh, she found it there. It's a pretty hard figure to get. Did not pre-order it off ringside. Um, was just going to try to wait to find it at retail, and we found it at retail. So, super excited about that. Um, I know this figure really isn't the greatest with likeness. Um, I know that, well, likeness in the head sculpt is fine. I think it's more the torso and the inaccuracies with the towel and torso and so on. But And I know he's got an updated figure coming out later. But this will do for a placeholder at the time being. I think it still looks pretty good. I agree that the torso was way too small. But it is what it is. It's Solo Sokoa's first figure. He's going to get better ones, I'm sure. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So we got Solo there with the white towel, which is inaccurate. It should be a black towel. I don't think my man's has ever wore a white towel, but is what it is. We got Solo Sokoa there, first time in the line. This is his first figure ever, the Elite 104 Solo Sokoa. So we got his name there on the side and a picture of him on the back with um, the, you know, all the stats, the small and spike, all the stats down there. And then we got all of these, uh, the rest of the figures in the set. We have reviewed the Braun Breaker. Make sure to go check out that review love that figure uh, both of them the chase and the regular super super solid figures i think i have seen all of these figures but the rick steiner and the Braun breaker and the solo in stores i've seen the aj the drew and the dakota kai in stores but these three guys i've never seen it in stores so hopefully we'll find i want to find that rick steiner i think i'm going to get it if i ever find it at retail we got a picture of solo there on the side and that is going to do it for the packaging so let's go ahead and crack solo out of his packaging and take a look at the figure all right so here we have solo out of his packaging looking pretty damn good if i do say so myself um we're going ahead and go over everything he comes with so he does come with this white towel on his head as you can see there looks pretty good sits decent on the figure um excited to see what the black towel is going to look like think it'll look pretty good there is that and there is his head sculpt looks pretty good i think out of all of the uso boys i think he looks the most like rikishi i think even like i mean the head sculpt wise and in real life to me i think he looks the most like rikishi um but yeah, head sculpt is very good. I think they could have made this mullet a little bit longer that he's got going on. But other than that, I think it looks really well. We got the We The Ones t-shirt with no Velcro, which is super nice. I like to see that. We got the one on the back there. All of the Samoan tribal detail. We'll take the shirt off here in a minute so you can see the torso. I think with the shirt, it's not too bad. I mean, it's passable for Solo. Like if you... um. You know, if you just kept the shirt on him, I, I mean, yeah, you can tell he's he's a little skinnier, but I think it it passes if you're just throwing it on the shelf. Um, yeah, we the ones T-shirt. We got the solo on the trunks there with the tribal. Got a little bit of paint smudge there on mine, unless it's supposed to be like that. Street champ. I don't like that they use these old torso, uh, the old usos. Um, like short mold because it's got the pocket i don't think he has a pocket on his at all so but we got the white tape on the knees looks really good i like i love this look like there's a few guys like uh AEW does it a good bit with like wardlow and mjf i love that i love the way that looks um so we got that some details on the knee pads there we go into the wraps on the feet bare feet just like his i think it's his uncle some uh umaga Manga was great, man. R.I.P. the legend. Uh, Manga was, even though he's fighting my boy Jeff Hardy, I always still liked Manga. But anyway, so we got fist hands on the figure, and then we got some C grip hands, one taped and one not taped. Also, think this whole thumb should be white. Also, same thing on those, and the same thing on the Weeda ones pointer fingers i think this whole finger should be white so hopefully they update that on the new ones let's go ahead and take this shirt off so we can see the torso 
Let's see, this should be relatively easy to get off this no Velcro shirt, hopefully. Let's see. Well. Not as easy as you would think. <laughs> Trying to get it off here. Oh, jeez. Dang. Yeah, this is way harder than I thought it was going to be. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm also trying not to, like, destroy the shirt, but... Jeez. What is that? <laughs> Why am I having such trouble with this? All right, let's see. There he goes. I think we got it. Nope. Yes? No? Come on. Guys... <laughs> Oh, good lord. I don't know why that was so hard to get off, but it was it was so hard to get off. I probably stretched it and ruined it, but whatever. So we got the tattoos there uh, going on to the pec. All of that looks real good. I like the way it looks. I think this is a solid figure, man. I know the torso's way, way, way too small, but it is what it is. Um, I still think aesthetically, I think it looks really good. I think that the torso was better. I really think that upcoming Elite is going to be probably in the like top 10 figures of the year probably i think that figure is gonna be super good but this one i think does the job i like it um poses around pretty well i don't i think he is on ball joints actually so that's good so he can do some good articulation we got the double jointed knees and all of that um hopefully solo gets a uh ultimate i would love to see an ultimate solo he's just a super cool character man and he's like i said he reminds me a lot of umaga and i really really like that because umaga was my guy so yeah um i'm digging this figure man i think it's pretty good uh, yes it could have been way better but it is what it is i think it works for what it is so that is going to do it today for the elite 104 uh review of solo sokoa here let's go ahead and throw some hands in there we'll throw the we the ones hand in there so you can see that so there's that looks pretty solid i like the way that looks so yeah, this, uh, I don't have the Usos, unfortunately. I actually sold my Jey Uso a while back. Been finding that Jimmy almost everywhere um, at Walmarts and stuff, so that's good, but I don't have either one of them. I probably will end up buying them back, maybe eventually. Love to get the older mints eventually, but it is what it is. But we have Solo Sokoa here as a standalone, and... I think that's where he's going to thrive the best is his standalone. So that is going to do it today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Go follow the Instagram over there um, at Jeffrey underscore James underscore reviews. The link is in the description. And um, yeah, I think I'm going to do something kind of special with the Instagram that I will announce very, very soon. But go make sure to go follow over there. Trust me, it is in... Um, it's in good spirits to go and follow the Instagram because there's some things coming pretty soon that I think you guys will like. So stay tuned to that. Uh, thank you guys for watching and we will see you guys in the next one.